Just gonna do an inside check again. Start master. Make sure that the fuel gauge is on. This one as well. Looks all pretty good. And we switch on the landing light. Pedal heat, I just check those outside. Check all the circuit breakers as well. Everything looks in, just feel them. Nothing has popped. Electronics look good. Um, the yoke is not obstructed. We see that all the ailerons move. Okay, if you look carefully, the elevator also moves perfectly. We don't check the rudder on the ground because that's attached to the wheels. Okay, we're doing another pre-flight today. This time I'll go in a little bit more detail since I've uh, had a little bit more time. Okay, so here we have the book and here, here is the actual checklist where it focuses. So <clears throat> the first thing is all the uh, weight and balance and performance documents. Those are usually complete and the aero documents, just the registration, etc. Those are on board. So we check the master, so we've put it on. Master's right over here. Press that. Now everything comes aligned, uh, alive. Electronics on. You check that the fuel valve, I'm sorry, the, the fuel gauges are up. You can see they go down as soon as you press that. So that should go up. It's perfect. Then we have lights and flaps right here. So we check the flaps. We'll bring those up. And we'll switch on the lights, landing light. Rotating beacon is on, and nav lights. Just check those. And now we'll go outside. And quickly check the lights. And while we're outside, we can also check the other things. So here, let's check the flaps. You see this is the rod. Make sure it doesn't move. Looks good. Everything is fine. Check these bolts, the ailerons. Really, and the yoke controls inside there move as well as the Elanons move. Looks good. See this nav light is on. Leading edge looks fine, all the nuts and rivets and bolts, they look good. See, check how much fuel there is. Okay, it's good. anything inside the engine, sometimes that happens. Plane up, landing light is on. The tires all look good. Underneath the plane, the struts look good. The leading edge looks good. Check on fuel on this tank. Looks pretty good. And just make sure that nothing looks abnormal. This is a stall warning light. Check that. Works, looks freely. Here is the other navigation light, left side. We have, on, again, these bolts, make sure that they go. And then the uh, ailerons, the flaps are fine. The bolts are good. Flaps don't move. Check this connecting rod. Looks good. The rotating beacon is fine. The leading edge of the elevator is fine. It moves. Check the rudder once we start moving. All the rivets look good. Flaps are fine. Everything is pretty good. So now we go back in. Okay, so now we're gonna check the fuel. So this is called the fuel sump. Basically connect this. And this basically is the lowest point on the fuel tank. And as you can see, we drain the fuel to this bottle. We just check, make sure that there's no bubbles in the fuel. Make sure there's no water. Make sure that everything is fine in there. And then we go to the other side and check the other tank as well. So you can see it right here. Good. No bubbles or nothing. Everything looks good.